Once you've completed the first nine dungeons and gained access to online multiplayer, you'll need to complete the secondary route for all nine dungeons and defeat the dragon to move on to hard mode, allowing you to exceed the initial level cap of 35. There are a few advanced tips that can help you on the climb toward 35 and hard mode. To make the most of your quest through the nine dungeons, you'll need to chain them. This means you'll complete as many dungeons as possible without going back to town. The longer you go without heading back to town, the greater your rewards will be, and the faster you'll reach hard mode. The first, and arguably most important thing to remember when chaining dungeons, is that your equipment will wear down and eventually break. It is imperative to have multiple bags of gear. When you select between Route A and Route B, you'll have the option to change to a different bag or continue to use your current bag. The more bags you have, the more gear you can carry. Since you have multiple bags, this is also a great opportunity to create different builds for your class. For example, if you're a wizard, you may want to have a build with all offensive spells and gear that increases your magic damage and intelligence stat. However, if you're about to fight one of the more dangerous bosses, you may want to change bags to gear that houses all the wizard's more defensive spells and focuses more on defense in general and constitution or magic resistance stats. You'll also come across weapons that have very low durability but excellent stats. In most cases, the weapons will break before you can use them effectively against a boss or major threat. To get the most out of these weapons, carry an extra weapon with normal durability along with the original weapon so that you can switch between them at any point. As long as they're in the same bag, switching is quick and easy, so start with the more durable weapon and then switch to the more powerful weapon when you reach a boss or a dangerous enemy. For most people, the journey toward hard mode will be played with friends and random people online important to take your time and remember the party rolls. Many people just want to run ahead to the next set of enemies and swing away with, with their weapon of choice. Keep in mind, a good fighter or dwarf should lead the way because they have higher defense than most other classes. In addition, the sorcerers and wizard classes have the ability to create minions out of bones or wooden objects. Prior to picking up these fallen warriors or smashing open boxes, give the mage classes a chance to add a valuable member to your party. Things can get pretty hectic during a battle, so pay attention to your character and the closest enemy. In most instances, enemies will attack from both sides. Don't let the frontline classes such as the fighter and dwarf get attacked from the back because you are too focused on chasing down money or unlocking a chest. This is a team effort, and the more you help each other out, the easier it will be to complete dungeons and reach hard mode. Stay tuned to PremiGames.com as we bring you more videos for Dragon's Crown and other popular video games.